Hey everybody, we're back again today to sample something called Stillhouse Black Bourbon. Interesting story. Uh, about a week or so ago when we were down in Ithaca at one of the local liquor stores, I saw a bunch of these cans behind the counter and thought to myself, that looks like butane. I gotta drink it. So we came back about a week later and purchased the bottle. The best part is this is highly recommended by our buddy Steve Fisher. So we're going to give her a shot today and maybe it's as good as he says. Well apparently it's America's finest. So I expect nothing less than the fine folks uh, from Stillhouse here. And they're, right. I'm going to say Whiskey Vault probably wouldn't be crazy about the screw off cap or probably the stainless steel can. But What are you talking about? You get a built in flask. I'm going and into this with an open is. mind. Um, blend. Uh, it's got wheat, whiskey, rye, uh, corn. Um, and it's expected that you do taste a little bit of the corn in this, uh, being that it's, you know, probably not super aged or anything like that. And Why also, do they call it black bourbon? That I don't know. Hmm. Um, I, I, to set it apart from the rest of them, I think. But this is actually a Tennessee whiskey. This is not a Kentucky bourbon. Hmm. And it doesn't smell like shit. You can smell the alcohol like on it pretty readily. You know, and I can't say that's any kind of a comparative smell like a vanilla, the dreaded caramel you word. Um, but. Hmm. Now I'm curious. It is good. Wow, that's surprisingly smooth. Wow. Wow. Well, this is, it is a blend. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that being said, a um, little bit of fire in the end of it. Oh, really? It, I'm not picking bit. that up so much. It warm, well, but you know, I kind of get like kind of a, I don't know, now you taste. Now I think I'm feeling it down that. here now, but it's not in the back of your throat. It's not... That burning no. feeling, like some of them taste like lava. This Actually, really, this, this is really good. isn't bad. No, jeez. Uh, What's the alcohol bit? content it's on proof. that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that right there was uh, thirteen ninety nine. Okay, a fifth for the fifth of it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I imagine it's uh, well, being that it's stainless steel, this is certainly reusable. Um, if you need to put turpentine or anything in a, you know, container. Oh, that's my new flask. Or Perfect size. Yeah, well, a whole fifth, so, you know, I mean, you can Perfect kind of... Perfect size. Yeah. Indeed. Um, all in all, man, I'm not going to... I like I'm, it. I'm not going to talk shit on the still house. Uh-uh. Thank I, you, Steve Fisher. Yeah. You were right. And I, I honestly, I was loaded with skepticism on this one. <laughs> and um, I'll eat my words. I'll eat my words and drink their whiskey. There is no butane involved in this. This is good. This yes. is really good. I also know they do like a mint chocolate chip whiskey. Yes, I and the apple is also highly recommended, I read. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Columbia, Tennessee. Um, yeah, Stillhouse is not bad whiskey. No, that's good. Go ahead and get yourself some. Yeah.